this is a little bit of a different way to get out a window uh, this is a rear window of a 2005 GMC Canyon so you can see it's not broken but it's got too much tint in it and uh, I'm gonna be replacing it with a glass that has no tint because I'm putting a canopy on and the rear window in the canopy has tint so anyway so this method is by using a multi-tool this is a Fane multi-tool brand but you can get many different types especially if you already have one I just have the tape on the glass right here to stop the multi-tool from potentially hitting in there in the teeth and all that sort of stuff so uh, I've cut all the way up in here already and I've left all of this headliner on this tool can get up in there uh, and then the tape I just have because all the shavings are cutting out um, and it's like tires dropping down it's okay I just didn't want them to go down there in the holes I don't know it might have been a waste of time but um, so yeah you just really get the tool in I found that this width this is like a two inch width one is good for the straight spots so you can just get in there and uh, uh, cut through this is cut through already so you can see so when you get through you can see it's through um, the trick with this is to with this tool when you're cutting is to go in a sixteenth of an inch uh, angle it out uh, you don't want it to vibrate against the wood the steel frame you can use this as a guide as long as it's angled out slightly because you don't want to take off the paint on the back side of that frame because that would cause rusting and that would cause the polyurethane to not stick properly so uh, so the trick in using this tool is to push it in start and then keep it in the groove and then slide it up and do the whole cut in the area that you want and then make the second pass push in another sixteenth now it's an eighth make another pass push in another sixteenth now it's three sixteenths and then a quarter and the thickness of the polyurethane is anywhere between a quarter and three eighths or a half an inch thick um, make sure not to push the thing too far and um, you just want it to have control of it so that when it goes through uh, when it goes through you can see that it doesn't come further and hit the steel you don't want it to hit in here and uh, take off the paint and you know scratch it of course and then cause rusting um, so yeah that's something that works well and then I should probably show you so I'm gonna do all my straight cuts first and in the corners I'm gonna put this onto the tool um, this was a rigid brand which I usually don't buy but anyways imagine that going into a corner would work and uh, this is the other one that was used um, this is what does it say it's like two inches two inches wide um, anyway so this is the one that was on the tool for um, the main cutting areas and because um, I was actually taking off two windows the one on the other vehicle that I took off I did this system right here um, so I went to a building supply store and this cable about just under an eighth of an inch and you can see it's braided this one's quite strong so I was thinking this is the one that wouldn't work and um, originally I'd purchased one that was for hanging pictures um, it's braided and that it, uh, it just wasn't strong enough it snapped on the first on the first pull so um, if you look online you'll see another video there's not many that show this it's sort of like sawing it out so 
what I did is in this corner on the inside of the vehicle, I used a knife and um, as close to the corner as I could, I just ran the knife along and gouged it out a little bit and took some material and really tried to relieve as much pressure as I could. Uh, and then I got a screwdriver in at an angle and like I said, there's one more video online that I had seen and I just took this thing before the wood handles, handles were on at the end and pushed the uh, screwdriver in the tip and forced it down in an angle to have it come out. Um, so, yeah, if you buy about three feet of this, I would actually buy six feet in case this thing snaps. Um, it, uh, it didn't for me, I was lucky, but it did at the very, very end when I was rubbing against steel do a little bit of fraying. Um, but yeah, I purchased this at a building supply store and uh, it's, it's pretty durable. It's got a little bit of texture, so um, it will, it'll cut through the urethane slightly, but you have to put lots of pressure in. Thing about this thing is of course you need two people and it took me and my friend about 45 minutes um so what i did was obviously drill the hole wrap this you don't want it to come off halfway through the job so i wrapped it around a number of times once it's around and through so i put it through the hole twice and then wrapped it around itself and um so of course you can't tie both up first because you can't, the pieces of wood, because you can't feed it through the window, obviously. So I tied the one side um, and had this sitting in the vehicle. And then with that side not being tied, I just forced it, forced the steel cable through the corner here, pull it out here. Um, I would have a pick, which they call, anyways, they call it a pick, but, I bought this at KMS Tools. Um, it's a cool set, actually. These thread into the end, so this one's that sort of a shape on the pick. And this set had a whole bunch of them, different angles and stuff like that. Um, and so I used that to grab the steel cable when it was through the window and pull it. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's if you're not a guy is doing glass every day and don't have all those glass tools the multi-tool does work um, as I say just don't scratch the frames you don't want to go backwards and have to primer bare metal and stuff like that um, so it, it's worked out well it cuts through nicely um, you just have to um, as I said um, if you cut 1 16th of an inch strip all the way from there if you're doing the section all the way to the end just nice and even at the same angle come back here start again um, you know another 16th that way it'll be an eighth and so you just do that that for every section that you're you're gonna do and you'll have good results um, so hopefully this would help someone think of a, a little bit of a different way of conquering taking out a window. I guess most people will be replacing broken window glass.